Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do the daily vibes for around the 23rd. So what do we got for the 23rd? Or thereabouts. Two of Pentacles reversed. Two of Cups reversed. Strength reversed. And the Knight of Pentacles upright. Now twos are about partnerships. They're about unions. Both of these are reversed. So there's an absence of unity here. So there's there's a disharmony, an imbalance of some sort. We have an unbalanced uh, partnership or a union. There's a, there's it's very unbalanced. Somebody's not doing their part, or there's just a lack of. Uh, togetherness here. This is vulnerable and weak. The strength card reversed. Um, somebody is, they don't have any desire or ambition or something like that. Now the Knight of Pentacles is somebody that makes goals, sets goals, uh, is a hard worker, is very practical. Uh, this is about the the Knight of Pentacles is about profit and gain, and it's financial gain, stability. Okay, because this is the Pentacle, it's about stability. So we have an individual that is focused on stability. They may this is vulnerable, weak partnership. We have somebody here that is in a very weak partnership. It's weak. Okay, it's not strong in any way. This is not a strong union. Okay. Hmm. This could be lack of courage, though. It could be. We could have somebody here that is fearful. So this is interesting. Uh, this is fearful. Now that we have a bull here, so this is taking the bull by the horn. Somebody is scared. This is fear. Fear of getting in a commitment, perhaps, because this is a commitment. It's a union. So we could have somebody here that is very fearful. They want to, perhaps. Somebody could be coming in with an offer because that is a golden opportunity. Okay, somebody may be coming in with an offer. This is somebody that is a very hard worker, um, follows through, moves slowly though. This individual moves very slow, isn't in any type of hurry. But there is a lack of, of self-confidence here and there is some sort of fear. There's some sort of disconnection or detachment. Two of Pentacles reversed. This is uh, lacking balance. No contingency plan. Um, they, somebody could be trying to do too much or something like that. Maybe they have too many responsibilities and they're having a hard time juggling their responsibilities. This person is works, work, 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 work. Okay, maybe affecting their union, maybe affecting their partnership or their ability to have a partnership. This is the strength card, not taking the bull by the horns. It could be some, you know, you dealing with a bull. It can be a little scary. And I don't know who you're dealing with, but um, anyhow. Um, this Knight of Pentacles um, is about building, building a foundation, plays it safe, likes, likes to be on solid ground, would rather have it safe than sorry. Okay, somebody who's very responsible, maybe in a position of status of some sort, has worked really hard to obtain, you know, stability. There's some sort of fear of partnership. And it could be fear of, of give and take because this is give and take. Okay, it is. So they may be fearful of getting in a partnership for, be, for fear of not um, it being equal, you know, because this is an imbalance. So that's what I think we have here. We have somebody here that really 
probably has something solid to offer, but they're fearful of taking the bull by the horns because what if this isn't, uh, you know, equal? What if it's not equal? What if it's one-sided? So there's definitely some fear here. Now, if you are in a coupled relationship right now, there's an imbalance and it may be one-sided, okay? there's If you're in a coupled relationship right now, you're with somebody, it looks like there's some sort of disharmony, there's a disconnection. Uh, one person appears to be probably doing more than the other, um, prob and the other person probably lacks the ambition, you know? Maybe they're sick all the time, or they make excuses, or they procrastinate, you know, or something like this. Per you know, this is also feeling inadequate, you know, so there's in, if you're in a couple relationship right now, it may be struggling because one person isn't putting in uh, the same amount of effort. Chariot. Interesting. Nine of cups. Things are going to get better. Things are going to get better. Now the chariot is mastering emotions. Look at that, that sunflower. Somebody is coming in, definitely. I feel like there is an individual here that is finding their, their willpower and their discipline and they are determined to win. They are determined to be successful. So this is, is going for a ride, going someplace, dealing with opposition. Maybe they're gonna let go of some of their responsibilities okay to bring wish fulfillment this looks very very like this is like going out to dinner together somebody may be invited to go out to dinner or to go on a picnic or to go you know somewhere to eat something to eat and this is a ride you know going out to eat or something like that um this is going for a ride this is, it may almost, I mean, somebody may even get flowers, okay? This may even be a peace offering or something like that. A gift, because I, I, I saw a gift up here, and it, somebody may be getting a gift or an invite or something like that. This person is finding their willpower, and they're finding their discipline or their strength or their ability. They're replacing their fear. Here we have the fear with faith. And they're going to make a move because this is forward movement. Somebody's about to make a move. They're going to transform. Okay, they're going to do whatever it takes to bring success, to bring happiness to a union or to fall in love or to meet somebody. I feel like they weren't putting in much effort or something, but they want this to be victorious. They want it. It feels like they want it. Okay, and this is an opportunity for happiness, big happiness. Um, we definitely have a new beginning here. We do. This is good luck. For me, ladybugs are good luck. Um, now this, this chariot is getting in the driver's seat and going someplace. This is like a picnic of some sort, headed towards a dinner or headed somewhere. Somebody may get picked up, you know, and taken for a ride on a date or a picnic or out to dinner. Or maybe you go out to dinner with your partner. Somebody has been maybe neglecting a union because of too many responsibilities, juggling life. I mean, that's a two of pentacles. They're having a hard time juggling responsibilities or something. Really, really focused on their dime, focused on their money. Um... Oh, these flipped. King of Cups and the Eight of Cups. So could be dealing with a Cancer. Uh, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We have Leo. But this is this this strength card reversed is feeling inadequate or not or, or, or not strong enough. Somebody isn't strong. There's there's a lack of strength. There's there's definitely fear fear of oh I know exactly what it is but there's fear of uh you know taking that bull by the horns or fear or fear of you know whatever I totally get it but anyhow this king of cups here um looking for love looking for romance so we have somebody here that is looking for love um 
and there's been some element of sadness over somebody walking away. So I think there has been some sort of sadness. This is sadness, emotional disappointment. Somebody walked away. Um, and this is not chasing. It looks like this person didn't chase, doesn't chase. Just fine. If you want to leave, leave, leave. If you want, you know, somebody could, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to beg you for attention. I'm not going to beg. So th this one's like, you can go. And, it, and this person, person's leaving. So somebody's saying goodbye. They're leaving. Somebody has left. But this is, this is putting in effort, following heart, um, looking for love, looking for wish fulfillment. Somebody is, is really going to be replacing their fear, their fear of commitment or their fear of being taken advantage of. That could certainly be the fear. It's like they're replacing it and, and they're taking control. They're really taking control of the situation. They're mastering their emotions. And when you master your emotions, you're mastering fear, right? You're mastering your ego. You're mastering everything. And this is being willing, okay? The, the chariot is somebody that is willing, willing to do whatever it takes to bring success, to bring it happiness, to have, to, you know, get their wish fulfillment and their, you know, heart uh, fulfilled. So that we have an individual here that is definitely very romantic and looking for love. So somebody is looking for love. And I feel like with this Eight of Cups, there's been a separation. Okay, there's been some sort of separation um, where there was no chasing. This, you know, there's tears, there's sadness, but no uh, chasing. There's no chasing here. Um, so this is this is emotional disappointment because somebody left. The Empress. Oh, oh. So we do have somebody here that is is looking at the Empress. She doesn't chase. Absolutely not. She does not. She does not chase. So anyway, this empress right here, she's sitting pretty. She is sitting pretty. She knows her value. She knows her worth. And there is somebody that has their eye on an empress. This empress, she sits alone. Look at her. She sits alone. Um, she is definitely the pick. She is tender, love, and care. She is unconditional love. Um, this is the birth of a new life. Whoever this person is has a lot of life experience, knows their value, has worked uh, on themselves. Very, very comfortable. This is somebody is this person is very, very comfortable. It seems to be very, very sexy as well. Very um, somebody definitely has their eye on this person. Very abundant, abundant in every way. She delivers. She delivers. So we have wish fulfillment that is, is coming. Because this is Nine of Cups. This is wish fulfillment. This is a dream come true. This is, this is a, somebody is coming towards this Empress. And this is moving pretty fast. Over here they were moving very slow. Maybe they were watching. This is somebody who is very practical. Or they didn't have time because they had too many responsibilities with that two of pentacles. Or their fear got in the way. Or all of the above. They didn't have time. They didn't make time. They may have felt like, you know, they were scared. They were scared. And uh, maybe they felt like they were inadequate. Or they weren't. Maybe because she has multiple options. The Empress has multiple options because she knows her value. She doesn't chase. Nobody wants the easy girl or the easy woman who is desperate for a minute, maybe, maybe even for a couple months, but not long term. You know, who wants that woman for very long? Nobody. So I think there's been some sort of observation here because this guy seems to be watching it, intently watching this empress. This is a creator. This, this empress creates, okay, and she delivers. She can make anything grow with her love. 
So anyway, this is things about to get better. Something is about to get better. Somebody is coming in. They may be they may come with flowers or an invite or something or a gift even. I don't even know what it is. This is whatever it is, it's it's something solid, okay? It's something real. It's something you can touch, okay? So they're coming with something. They may be going for a ride or taking somebody for a ride or who knows what. This person is looking for love. And if you are in a coupled relationship now, you, whoever you're dealing with, whether, I don't know who it is, this is somebody that is definitely maybe falling in love or, or developing feelings or things are getting better. Things are getting better. We have an empress here who is unconditional love. Okay, she is. She is abundant. She has a lot to offer. She does it all. She does it all. She does. So we definitely have an individual that is um, eyeing this empress. Um, she didn't chase. She didn't chase. Now this, and it could be somebody new. I mean, it could be somebody new. It could be, I don't know who it is, but whoever this, this King of Cups is, this person is looking for a relationship and they have their eye on one hell of a queen. And she don't even know it. She doesn't know. Okay. Her, her back is turned to the whole situation. She turned her back on it. She let it go. She did. She let it go. Because she wants something solid. She wants something stable. She knows her value. She does. So this is interesting. If you are a male watching this, this is your energy. Not This is a feminine. Now this is this is this is the last card I'm pulling. This is last but not least. This is this is like uh, this is all you need. The Empress doesn't involve herself in third party situations. So for those of you watching this to say, Oh, I'm the Empress, oh no, you're only the Empress if you don't cheat. Or involve yourself in third party situations because an Empress doesn't do that. And that's why she is the pick. That's why she is the empress. She's learned from life experience. A woman of value isn't desperate. She takes care of herself. She doesn't need. She may want, but she doesn't need. So anyway, we definitely have uh, uh, somebody that is interested in having a relationship with this empress. And they are going to do whatever it takes to make it happen. Because this is a win. Good luck.